Here are a few practice questions on functions you may solve and send an email to me on the address given for further discussion. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we will consider some questions based on functions. Treat this as a practice test. Questions are related to the definition of functions and relations, domain and range, some application questions, questions based on transformations, will model real life situations, there will be communication and thinking questions. Inverse function we have treated in details and taken up an iterative function. There are 13 questions in all to answer. Here is question number 1. How many of the following are functions? You may also provide a reason why which one of them is not a function. Question 2. Consider the relation shown in the mapping diagram. Write domain range is the relation of function explain question number three is an application question a 600 meter fence is used to enclose a rectangular pen area with a partition as shown in the figure write area of the rectangle as a function of width find domain of the function determine the dimensions that will provide maximum and closed area. Very interesting question. This will give you your strength in quadratic functions. Question number 4. Match the graph of the function square root of 4 minus 2x. So here we will learn the radical function and how do we represent it graphically along with transformations. Question number 5. Inverse of the function f of x equals to square root of x plus 1 is f inverse x equals to x square minus 1. Is the above statement true or false? This is a communication question. I like you to provide complete explanation of your answer. Question number 6. f of x is equal to x square plus 4x minus 1 where x is greater than or equal to minus 4. And less than or equal to 1. Find domain and range of f of x. Question 6b. g of x is a function obtained after transformation of f of x. g of x equals to 3 times f of 2x plus 4. Find domain and range of this transformed function g of x. Interesting. So I hope you find these questions useful. You can submit your answers for me to check. I can always provide you with the correct solutions. Feel free to send an email on the address given for details. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivan. <laughs> Great. Our student Akshit gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. Question number seven is another application function. Here we are dealing with trigonometric functions. A clock is mounted on a wall. The bottom of the clock is 200 centimeters from the floor. The minute hand is 10 centimeters long and it reaches all the way to the edge of the clock. Model the height of the minute hand as a sinusoidal function. Assume the initial time to be 12.15 p.m. Question 7a. Write the function h of t to find the height of the tip of the minute arm from the floor at any instance of time. Question 7b. 
the clock stops after 50 minutes. Find domain range of h of t. Question 7c. Find h of 15. Beautiful question based on applications, trigonometric functions, and function notation. Question number 8. It is application question based on exponential functions. Mr. A likes to make jokes. Unfortunately, he finds that each time he tells a joke, the response to his humor declines by a quarter. Mr. A will stop telling jokes if the total response to his humor goes under 5%. How many jokes will Mr. A tell before he stops telling any more jokes? Interesting. That is what we deal with, right? You can always share with me your comments and thoughts on the email given. It helps us to relate with the real life situations and to model with functions which we have already learned. I hope this worksheet helps you to strengthen your skills and gain confidence. Let's move on. So here is now question number 9 for you, which is under certain law, the first 50,000 of the earnings are subjected to a 20% tax. Earnings greater than 50,000 and up to 100,000 are subjected to 30% tax and the earnings greater than 100,000 are taxed at 50%. Write an equation to model this situation. Use your expression to calculate the tax earnings of $150,000. Very interesting question based on real life situation where we are going to use piecewise functions and also figure out the domain range of this particular piecewise function. That would be interesting. You could always extend these questions for further learning. Feel free to send an email to my address to explore and learn more. Perfect. So, next question. This is based on inverse functions. You will know that some of these inverse functions are self-inverse functions. Question number 10. If f inverse of x is equal to f of x, then the function is called self-inverse function. f of x equals to k minus x, k belongs to real numbers, is a self-inverse function. Explain why f of x equals to k minus x, k belongs to real numbers, is a self-inverse function. Right? So, it's a communication-based question. You need to explain why is it a self-inverse function. Question 10b. Provide example of another self-inverse function. Open question for you. Provide as many as you can. And pick up a question which is a rational function. That would be great. Perfect. Let's move on and do C question number 11. A function f is defined as f1 equals to 6 and f of 2x plus 1 equals to 3 times f of x for every integer x. What is the value of f15? Options are given to you. Perfect. Question number 12. Now, in question number 12, we have actually combined uh, quite a few. And uh, we need to find the domain and range of following functions. So, the parent function is given to you as square root of x and then we have transformed this in different ways 3 square root x plus 5 minus 2 square root of 2 minus x and then we have combined this radical function with the reticent as a quadratic function so explore this part square root of 4 minus x square and square root of x square minus 6x minus 7 so with that we come to an end of this particular Worksheet where I have shared with you uh, some questions to practice. Feel free to write your comments and suggestions. If you like and subscribe to our channel, that would be great. And you can always contact me on the email address given or at the website for further information. Thanks for your time and all the best.